friends uh, today i am going to discuss about uh, um, reduction formula questions uh, of uh, 2b paper of second year and generally every alternate year sometimes uh, sequentially they are asking uh, reduction formula questions so in reduction formula generally we have to apply by parts rule so to solve any reduction formula based questions we have to apply by parts rule repeatedly so first of all i want to teach you what is a by parts rule and how to apply it and then we'll go to reduction formula based questions so by parts rule is nothing but in order to discuss by parts rule we have to look at uh, product of two functions so in those product of two functions we should be able to identify what is the first function what is the second function and what is a uh, uh, the rule so here first function can be identified based on i late i late stands for uh, inverse functions uh, L stands for logarithmic functions, A stands for algebraic and T stands for trigonometric and E stands for exponential. So example for inverse, it is sine inverse, cos inverse, something like that you can check and uh, L logarithmic means you can take log x log of uh, e power x plus 2 something like that which involves logarithmic things and uh, uh, A stands for algebraic, algebraic generally means like uh, constants will come into algebraic and uh, uh, you will get uh, uh, polynomial functions will come into algebraic all these type of things and the next one t stands for trigonometry trigonometric means sin x cos x all these things you can apply and uh, e stands for exponential generally exponential means you can go for e power x 2 power x a power x uh, something like this you can uh, take it as a exponential for example sometimes if you uh, if you have a, a question like this uh, integral of x sin x dx is there so in this you can easily select uh, based on your i late rule so according to i late i late uh, so here we have trigonometric and here we have uh, um, algebraic so algebraic is coming first so i can write it as uh, uh, x into sin x uh, dx so this is our first function and this is our second function like that we can divide and we can proceed based on the rule for example if i have something like this uh, sin cube x dx is there here it's a difficult uh, uh, to select because we have only one function so in such a case two methods are there one you can write one into sin cube x dx so one is a algebraic and this is a trigonometric you can go but that is a lengthy method and you will get uh, repeated uh, by parts rule how to apply another way is you can select this sin cube x into you can split sin cube x into two ways so the sin cube x I am writing sin square x into sin x dx. So select a second function whose integration is very easy. 